All right, guys, we're back uh, in the GLI. Uh, it's been a while since we've uh, done a video uh, with the coronavirus thing going on. Get the camera a little bit more over here. Um, with the coronavirus going on um, and money being tight, we really haven't done much uh, with the with the car. Uh, kind of got put on the back burner for right now. But I did get notification. Um, I use this app that a lot of people are using. Um, Mostly everybody that I know is using this OBD 11. Um, so I got a notification on the app the other day that there was a new app for uh, the Jetta GLI. Um, so let me uh, let's look into uh, what we got going on here and see what's in here. And maybe it'd be something that we can uh, we can do. All right, so we have the pulsation of, if you can see that, pulsation of start button. Um, not really sure what it does or how it works, but um, it, it seems to be only for the Jetta GLI. Um, although I haven't scanned a new G, uh, GTI, so I don't know if it'll do the same for that. But um, obviously it says something when you open it up, it says this app activates the pulsation of the engine start stop button light when the vehicle's engine is off. When engine is started, the pulsation is stopped. Um, and it says your vehicle must have keyless entry system, which obviously we do. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if I can get it to focus here, the engine start stop button is doing nothing. Um, so we're going to plug in the OBD 11 connector and we're going to check it out and see if we can't put it in there and see what it does if i could find the obd port that'd be great all right there's that now i have the key in that's plugged in and it's lit up i have the key in my pocket so we'll hit the start stop button to turn the car on Turn the air conditioner off there. And let's see if we can connect. Connect this here. Let's go back. Let's hit connect. It says it's connecting. I think it's flashing down there. All right, and we're connected. So, let's go into apps. Now, it does do it cost 10 credits. Um, you can get free credits by logging on every single day, um, you know, looking at their ads, uh, stuff like that. Um, and if you see down in the, the bottom corner here, I have 57 credits. So, let's do this. All right, now let's select the value to be on. And we're going to press and hold the check. And then it says success. Oh, it's already working. If you can see that now it's supposed to when the engine is started the pulsation is stopped so let's make sure the car is neutral now let's start the car and see what happens oh yeah 
Obviously the flicker is from the LED light that's inside there. It's really not flickering off camera, but on the camera it looks like it's flickering. So, and it's raining today, so we're inside the car. Um, haven't, like I said, we haven't done anything else to the car. More uh, things are coming. Uh, the exhaust is going to be coming. That's on its way. Um, I still am going to do the modification for the, uh, what do you call it, the poor man's intake. Um, I think that's kind of interesting that I can uh, get sound, the, the, that amount of sound out of the, uh, out of the intake by using the stock uh, intake box um, by drilling out the, uh, with a Dremel and uh, buying the block off plate from the Golf R. So that's going to be coming too. Um, so stay tuned. Um, the Cabrio is finished. Um, there's some more videos that we have to post on the, the Cabrio. Um, not sure what we're going to do with the wheels yet. Um, that's something that we are kind of discussing. But we'll get we'll, we'll, we'll get there on, uh, on that. Uh, my wife kind of likes the wheels that are on there right now. I kind of want to change them up a little bit. Um, but I don't know. If, uh, if you guys want to see something... Something else is a uh, wheel style on that car, wheel and tire package on the Cabrio. Um, definitely leave a comment below, let me know. Um, and as of right now, I mean, I've driven this car more than I wanted to to keep the miles down, but we got 17,117 or 171 miles on the car. Um, and other than that, I've had no problems with it. Um, it's been through a couple oil changes. Um, it's a little bit dirty because obviously it's been it's been driven it's been not lived in but you know it's been used almost on a daily basis um you know uh, other owners that are reporting squeaks and rattles and stuff like that um i obviously i have a sub in the trunk so the rear deck rattles around a little bit um i don't have any sunroof issues because i don't have a sunroof in the 35th anniversary edition um you know and other than that like i said this car has been trouble free um you know with the with the catless downpipe and the o2 spacer on the hot humid days down here in florida if i really beat on the car and and really push it yeah i'll get a check engine light but i just turn it right off and it stays off for you know a couple months and it'll come back eventually um but it wouldn't be a volkswagen without a check engine light so um all right anyways i guess hopefully you guys uh, saw how to how to do that in the app um and then obviously once you're once you're done doing all that you can back out of all that uh, and it'll give you a little warning and then that's it then you shut off the car oh and it still pulses while it's I wonder how long it takes for that to go off. It's kind of light. We'll have to sh oh, there it goes. As soon as everything goes off, as soon as the gauge cluster powers off, it stops flashing. That's a pretty neat, uh, neat little feature. Um, if you don't have any credits, I wouldn't suggest buying credits just for that specific. Uh, specific app however if you you know look at enough ads or, or anything I, I believe you can get about seven credits a day um just logging into the app gives you one credit um you know just opening up the app gives you one credit and then you can watch i think five or six different ads and it'll give you a credit every time you watch an ad um so just build up your credits something that you know what i mean if you already have obd 11 and you already got credits built up it's a little neat trick you know need a feature that not all the other cars have so um be something new uh to, to look into and uh hopefully you guys like the video and uh if you have any questions about how that button acts you know further further on down the line let me know and i'll uh, try to answer any questions all right thanks uh thanks for watching the video like and subscribe we hope you like this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel